Nice. Oh no. That is the time of day. And day. Anyways. Unfortunately, it is already 3.45 p.m. Oh my goodness. For some reason, it's very cold in this room. So I'm wearing my jack two jackets. But not my large coat. Which is right there on the chair when it should probably just be in the closet downstairs so it's not taking up space in here. Because I'm probably not going to even have to wear that anymore because it's basically spring. So anyways, today is Sunday. And, um, I would normally have to work tomorrow morning, but since I lost that job, I don't have to work tomorrow morning, which means I feel more free to stay up later, because otherwise I'd be going to, I would want to go to bed earlier, um, so now I can actually do stuff, well, <laughs> Since it's already 3.48, I don't think I'm going to be able to get myself to do the microeconomics assignment today. So I'll just have to do the bare minimum, which is... Now technically I could even just do the accounting one and do not even do the business communication one until tomorrow morning. Um, but I think I'm going to want to do it today instead of tomorrow morning. So anyways, what we are going to do today is to take a 30 minute quiz, I mean, since there's a time limit of 30 minutes, that's going to be done within 30 minutes, obviously. The problem is that I'll be more stressed out because I have to finish in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, but thankfully he said it's going to be open book quiz, so that's good. So if I don't know how to do something, I can just look in the textbook. and. He also said it was just going to be over chapter 6, which I'm very glad about. Um, I wonder what our next test is going to cover. Because I thought he said we were going to take a test for chapter 1 through 6, like part 2 of the test, but then we kind of didn't do that. So uh, I would guess maybe the next test is going to either start at chapter 6, or maybe he'll, he'll randomly include chapter 5 too. I hope he doesn't, but... I mean, it doesn't matter anyway, because there's going to be a comprehensive final at the end, so I may as well just learn everything. Anyways, I mean, I need to learn all this stuff. Technically, I should just learn it, instead of only learning it for the class and then forgetting it after, but that's how, it, that's how the education system works. You learn something for a test, and then you forget about it after you've taken your test. Um... So, anyways, so then after that I'm going to read a chapter from Business Communication and then take the quiz. Um, so yeah, last time I just read the key terms and then took the quiz, but I, I think that's too risky of a thing to do. I feel like I'm going to miss a couple questions. I think I just got lucky last time when I got 10 out of 10. But I think I should just read the whole chapter, which is not going to be fun, but I just really want to make sure I don't just miss unnecessary points, because I did the calculations, um, you'll probably see that in one of my other videos, but I did the calculations, and it turns out that the best possible grade I can get in this class is 94%. So I just, I, I need to work really hard to, to main th maintain my A, like, I need to get most of those points, most of the rest of the points in order to get my 94%. Um, if I miss too many points, it's going to go below 90, and that's going to end up being not an A. 
Now, technically, I would actually, at this point in my life, I'm just, like, my original goal for the semester was I just want to get all A's, but at this point, I don't really care anymore. I just want to, I mean, obviously, I don't want to get a C. That would look kind of bad, but a B at the very minimum, like, just a B. No, I don't even, I don't want a B minus. A B, I'll be, if I get a B in this class, I'd be like, eh, I'm not very happy about it, but at least... It's not a not like a B minus or a C or I did fail. It's like just I won't be like mad if I get a B. I'll be mad if I get anything lower than a B, really, basically is what I'm saying. But I'm hoping I can still get the A. It just all depends on how motivated I can be to actually do the homework. That's literally all it comes down to. It just comes down to if I can get myself to do the work. And then for ma my management accounting, I think I should be fine for that class. My current grade in the class is 96%. I have a ton of leeway to still get an A there, so um, I should be able to get the A pretty easily there. And the same goes for microeconomics, which is currently sitting at a 93%, which is a little bit low, but I'm... I think for this next assignment, well, I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, which is looking through the questions and answering anything that seems really obvious and then looking through the notes to see if I can find answers. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really been attending the lectures as much, so that's not going to help with completing the assignment. Like, Because if I attend the lectures, sometimes I'll pick up on some information that, that will be on the the quiz and then I can just answer the question but thank you. I keep talking about stuff it's already 3.52 okay 30 minute quiz and then I'll give myself an entire hour to read that chapter for business communication an entire hour that's gotta be enough right to just I wonder if reading the summary is good enough. Uh, probably not. Uh, it's mostly just the key terms, and then there's some random other stuff too. Um, yeah, last time I just read the key terms, took it, and some of the questions I had to guess, but I had educated guesses. And then I think there was like one or two questions that I wasn't sure about, but I just oh, was able to get them right anyways. So yeah, this is a procrastination session. Um, actually, so let's see. Well, when I give you the next update, what time will it be? Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to give you an update after completing my quiz. If I do give you an update, I should be done. Let's say it's 3.53. Well, let's just round it up to 4, and I should be done with the quiz by 4.30. And then I should basically start right away maybe take a 10 why would I take a 10 minute break that doesn't make any sense give myself 10 minutes of leeway and then by 540 oh let's just round it up uh, by 6 I should be done with this stuff I should be done by 6 honestly I just if I'm not done by 6 I'm being dumb uh, so yeah if I give you an update and it's saying that I've completely finished everything it should be sometime before 6 o'clock so I mean that that gives that's plenty of time right there, and then I can just get a really good night's sleep and get up. And ideally, I would just start working the microeconomics thing in the morning. But obviously, I'm probably gonna do what I always do and be like, oh, I don't feel like starting until after my class, which is at ten. Okay, stop. It is now three fifty-four. I almost forgot to make an update, but anyways, it's five twenty-eight p.m. I actually finished like half an hour ago, but I forgot about it until just now. But anyways, yeah, I did the quiz. I got um, 9 out of 12. Well, I, I mean, I think I probably got 12 out of 12, but three of the points in, uh, is a written part of it, so he's going to grade that later. So, But I did get nine the nine ones that I could see. I got those right, so I do have the potential of getting 100%. just all depends on if I got the ones for the written part correct me, I think I did, so got that, and then um, I did the 
reading for the chapter nine of business communication then took the quiz and I got the 10 out of 10 for that quiz. So that's all I wanted to do today. Now, technically I could probably have time to start working on microeconomics, but I'm stupid, so I'm not going to. So anyways, thanks for watching. Good to the mic. Bye.